Hi guys, this is Tranquility Eden. Thank you for checking out this video. So recently a lot of people have been asking me about how to build a beginner's base. I thought I'd give it a go using just materials you can get from level 30 and below. To start off with, you're going to need to be level 30 because uh, there's a lot of stone used in this build. Um, but let's make a start. So here we are. Um, on the south coast, about uh, 80 latitude and 65 longitude, um, right down there on the south coast. It's a nice flat area. I want to build this base sort of going out a little bit into the water. So we're going to start out um, by placing some foundations here, some stone foundations, uh, a strip of five of them, um, and then we're going to use some thatch foundations just to uh, space out another strip of five foundations now the reason why we're going to start with this is um, I found a nifty way of getting quite a lot of wood um, for free really um, so this is my method of getting wood for free so first of all we place our two strips of five um, foundations now these are going to be incorporated within the build um, but they also are going to get us free wood while we're building, which is a really useful thing. On each end in between, we're gonna line up two uh, stone dino gates. So I'll place one on this end, and then another one on the far end here. And I just try and keep them straight because these are going to remain in the, the final build. So we try and make it look good. Get these lined up. So, place some uh, door frame, some um, dino gates inside there, and then along each edge, we're going to place two um, rows, one on each side of uh, stone windows, and we'll put a stone wall on each end closest to the water there. So, I'll do that on the other side. What you should notice is this is starting to look a bit like a taming pen and in a way it will be um, but what we're going to be using is beavers so here we have a beaver dam and you can, as you can see it's got lots of wood in it um, as well as cementing paste and some wild flowers um, now i know lots of people steal from uh, beaver dens but the aim for us is not to steal from the beaver den but to steal the beaver itself so I'm going to kite this beaver over to our build. It's quite a run um, along the coast here. So I'll just keep hammering it with um, stones. I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to kill it or knock it out even. So I'm using this catapult just to keep kiting it along. Because um, they too do tend to lose interest. The aim here is to trap this beaver inside our bent. Oh, he's headed into the water. Let's get him back. Come on, follow me. Right, we need to get him in here. Oh, door closed. Right, come on, in you come. Right, now with him trapped, um, if we wait, uh, you can't be in render range, I found. You, know, you have to go away from render range. But what will happen is he'll be trapped in there and over time, he will make dams. And he'll just carry on making dams inside this little pen and we're going to leave him we're not going to tame him we're just going to leave him wild in this pen and he will carry on making dam after dam after dam and we can just raid those dams con continually so i use this method a lot um, when i'm playing on servers where i don't have admin access um, as i do on this server but um I can use that at this to generate. I found you can get up to about a uh, um, about maybe two to three thousand wood a day uh, in 24 hours if you if you go through this process. And you just have to come on every hour or two and uh, hoover up everything from inside the the dam. Not only is this great for wood, but as you can see, it's good for pearls and cementing paste and uh, wildflowers and, and mushrooms too. So there's food in there um, as well as uh, cementing paste and pearls and all that lovely wood. So that done, 
we can now start building the rest of the base. Uh, you can see I've come back here 24, well, about actually about an hour later, I think this was, and another load of resources that I can put into my uh, box here. Um, so let's start the rest of the build. Uh, we're going to start by placing a wooden pillar so that we can get a lowered foundation and then we're going to place another foundation straight on top of it. Um, we're going to use this to have a flush floor in the middle. So you'll see I'm going to place four more, uh, three more, sorry, um, stone foundations and then on the back of the build another four and then we're going to join. Now that foundation doesn't sit in there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a stone ceiling and hang a wall off it just to fill that little gap. Um, with that done I can now fill this gap in the middle with flush wooden floors. That was what that lowered foundation was for. So you can see I'm going to snap to the lower snap point to that lower foundation that's hidden within the higher one and we get a floor that is flush with the stone and uh, not sitting proud. Um, like that stone ceiling is. Um, we need the stone ceiling on the outside because if we drop the stone ceiling on the outside then the walls sat on top of it will also be lower. That done I can remove this, this wooden pillar and I'm now going to repeat the process on the other side. So once again we place a, a wooden pillar, snap a lower foundation and then a higher one on top of it and then we're going to put a square that's going to be four by four of stone foundations. And last one. And now we're going to place the flush wooden floor. Again, select the lower slap, snap point. So there we go. We have the foundations of the build pretty much done. Just remove that pillar. With that done, I'm gonna concentrate on one side and get pretty much one side of this build done in its entirety. Um, and then I'll sort of do a speed build for the, for the far side so that you can see what the finished build looks like. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the front of the build here, I'm going to put three stone foundations and repeat that on the back of the build you can see it's going to include that last stone foundation by the gate so with that done oh there's plenty of wood there you can see two dams have been built we'll have to hoover that up shortly right next place a fence foundation wooden fence foundation right there one foundation out and we can use that to start placing wooden uh, stone pillars around the end and side of the build. We now place another wooden fence foundation on the back of the build, one foundation in from the edge and use that to place our pillars going all the way along that side. So with that done what we're going to do now is uh, build some wooden pillars on top of the stone. So I'm going to place um, ooh, one more pillar on the corners there. These are going to be sort of porches that we're going to build on the front and back of the build. There we go. So that's the layout of the stone pillars. With that done, we can now move to wooden pillars and we're going to go up um, by two pillars. two pillars. We're going to repeat that on all of these uh, stone pillars. Right, with that done we can work on stone walls. So I'm going to start with um, solid stone walls and I'm going to place three up high here on this edge against the gate and switch to windows and place windows either side of that central gap, that gap's going to become a door. 
put a solid stone wall on the end and then around the corner a window then two walls and then a window around the corner again wall window gap window and then two walls and again I'm going to extend that one up three walls high so we have our stone done I'm just going to put some door frames in those gaps with that done we're going to switch over to the side of this pen and we're going to put a row of stone walls and then another row of stone windows above it there we go now moving on to wood on top of each wood, uh, uh, wall below we're going to put a flipped wooden solid wall and we're going to go all the way around like so and then we're going to put thatch ceilings all the way around because we're going to use this to be able to uh, snap stone railings all the way along these walls. To do this we have to make sure that we're uh, snapping to the thatch and then flip it. So snap to the thatch and then flip it and that way it will not replace the wooden wall. With that done we can remove the thatch. So I'll go around removing all the thatch here. And we're left with that nice sort of transition between the stone and the wood. We're now ready to put the next uh, floor in. Um, so I'm going to first of all uh, put in some wooden flooring. Um, I'm going to start over in this corner, I think. Let's start here. Um, and we're going to snap a whole floor of um, wooden ceilings all the way around that's going to make our floor and we can also put them above the two porches at the front and the back um, we can remove remove these two because we're going to put in uh, some sort of ramp up here to take us up to the second floor so I'm going to snap wooden um, sloped ceilings not ramps but sloped ceilings there and that will give us access to the next floor up we're going to repeat the pattern um, except slightly different on the ends so we're going to do windows um, either side of a door uh, uh, solid walls and then on the ends we've got the two windows in the middle this time instead on the ends some door frames in. Now above these we're going to put some uh, wooden catwalks. These put, an, uh, put a nice line above the window and sort of act like a window sill above the window and I think it, it gives a nice effect. Um, once that's done we can now extend the pillars up and walls up one more level. So we'll go around with the pillars first Snap pillars, wooden pillars all the way around. And we're also going to do the same on the porch. Now we only need one in the middle on the end here. We're gonna, it's going to have an apex roof, so we're going to be adding more to that um, middle one in a minute. Let's finish these ones first. So extend these pillars all the way along by one more. And don't forget the porch. We can now put a ring of wooden walls flipped. Make sure they're still flipped all the way around. And you can see the effect of those wooden catwalks. They really sort of frame that window nicely and add a little sort of overhang over the window.
So that is the second floor walls nearly done. Just need some stone here. Need a full row of stone above our taming pen and on the other side. That's the second floor done. Uh, what we need to work on now is the roof. Now to do the roof, I'm going to go for a sort of a, almost a Viking roof. Um, now I'm going to start with this porch. I'm going to put a window, a wooden window on the side, followed by a wooden wall, and the same on the opposite side. Um, and once that's done, I can start on the roof section. So we're going to have two sort of apexes that merge together and the top apex is going to be a steeper roof using ramps. Step one is to uh, place an offset wooden ceiling uh, on this porch here. So there we get the offset. This will mean that that three um, sort of three ceiling wide um, bay now is four ceilings wide by offsetting it by one and this will give us um, the ability to have a pointed ceiling over an odd number of ceil um pointed roof sorry over an odd number of ceilings so the offset ceiling method to do this is really useful so with that done i can place two wooden windows right in the middle and then using uh, sloped wooden walls flipped I can make my gable end. I'm now going to switch over to the other side of the build and repeat this process. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to put a quick strip of uh, stone ceilings just to cover the stone section that meets against the taming pen. That whole centre section needs to be stone so that anything that we try and tame inside that taming pen doesn't damage the wood that the rest of the build is from and built from. So we're going to have that whole section inside and out all be uh, stone to ensure that that doesn't get damaged. I can now go to this end. I'm going to increase the height of the uh, pillar there for that gable end by two more and now I'm going to build the uh, the gable end of the back of the build so just like the front we start with an offset ceiling just going to make it just make sure it's in the same orientation as it is on the front of the build there we go flip and snap 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 and extend those ceilings back by four and you should see it should merge with the stone quite neatly because of that offset it goes in underneath the stone which is just what we want find the right snap point there it is and the last one there I can now put the gable end on the, this side so I start with my uh, wooden walls flipped, don't forget to flip them and sloped wooden walls to make the peak. While I've got this one out I'll just go and do the ones on the side here. So I'm going to place one there then a solid wooden wall, solid wooden wall, one there, and now I can use the other one and go and do the ones on this, on the back of the build, two. So I've got all of my gables done. I'm now going to start on the roof. The roof is quite complicated, guys. Um, the first step is to deal with this offset where you've got a wall merging with a roof. Now I use sloped thatch um, walls to help me with this because they really um, are good with clipping different structures together. By using them 
two like that, I am now able to place a wooden sloped ceiling. Um, I now need to flip, uh, replace that one with one of the other direction so that I can and have one pointing to the right. Find the snap point like that. I can now place another sloped wooden ceiling. I could now replace the thatch with the stone that is going to stay there permanently. So I can switch to stone to replace them. I think actually I'm going to need one more sloped ceiling. So like so. No, hang on, I forgot my other thatch. There's the thatch. There we go. That's better. Now I can replace with stone. And you can see now what we've done is we've clipped the wood through the stone walls. It's a really nifty technique to uh, allow clipping, which are obviously in mobile doesn't exist. I'm going to switch that one first so that I can get the sloped ceiling in that orientation going along towards the other gable end and then replace it in stone. And I'm going to now repeat that whole process on this side of the build. So we start with, I'm going to put some more stone, an overhang over that door, doorway, just so that it matches up with the far, the back of the build. Yet more wood in the dam, useful. So start with thatch sloped walls. Find the right snap point. There it is. And one pointing in the other right direction. Now replace the uh, that one with this and another one there. Place that and then repeat that process again. that later on we'll come back to that because I want to be able to get from the wooden section on the left there onto the stone the stone's going to be a sort of bedroom uh, up above the taming pen that I'm going to build so I'll put another strip of uh, stone walls above the first set make sure that we're getting the right snap point there we go around the corner We'll put one more on top of that. Now that should be the maximum height because I want some stone railings at the top um, of our stone foundations. We won't be able to put any more above that. So that top one, it was green then, that meant I can still place one more wall um, on the top. But instead of a wall, it's going to be a um, railing just to, to finish off the top of the build. So switching back to this roof, I'm going to first start with um, a sloped wooden ceiling, which I'm trying to snap. Oh, that's because I'm using a ramp. Let's make some ceilings instead. We're going to snap that there, and then snap one off this right end gable, and it should clip through. That one clips through, so let's just try the other side and make sure I can do it on the other side. 
um, I'm going to need stone, uh, sorry, wooden uh, ceilings up here because I'm going to now switch from the ceilings to ramps to get a sort of steeper angle. So step one is putting those two ceilings and then we're going to put a wooden fence foundation in between those two ceilings and then another one either side of that so we get three fence foundations right next to each other. We can now place a wooden wall on the top of each of those fence foundations. One more. There we go. And we can now put on top of that a wooden catwalk. That's going to um, be offset, so it's going to stick out over the end of the build, which uh, gives a nice sort of aesthetic find the right snap point right in the middle and I'm going to extend these catwalks all the way back to the stone. Now I'm going to have to remove these two stone walls first and that one and then we can place that last catwalk. Come on, snap. Thank you. Uh, I can now replace those walls in a minute. Right, on top of the catwalks, what we're going to do now is um, repeat the fence foundation that we placed uh, below, that the three walls are sitting on. We're going to repeat, repeat that process um, up here. So the first thing I need to do is find the centre one, and once I've found the centre one, there's the centre one, I can place one on either side to find the... It's really fiddly trying to find these snap points. Um, it's when, when we start messing around with fence foundations like this but I know it's a matter of just finding the right angle to be looking at it there we go got one of them now to find the other one just keep shifting around looking at it from different angles and you will find that other oh I just saw it just pop up briefly then Try from maybe try, if we try from a different angle. Oh, I saw it there. So fiddly. Bane in my life snap points. That's right. Yes, finally, finally. With those three placed, the rest are a lot easier to place from now on. So get the middle one left and right and repeat that all the way along the catwalks to the stone. One more set there. There and there. Awesome. Okay. Fence foundation's in. Now we can extend this stone pillar. Uh, sorry, wooden pillar. Up one more. That will make the top of the build. And we can place wooden walls all the way along. Here, so in groups of three. One on each of those fence foundations. And we can extend that all the way along back to the stone. So this will act like the ridge of our build. And we can, the reason why we have three uh, wooden walls up here is it means that we can um, snap a uh, ramp, wooden ramp to either side. If you don't have three, uh, if you just have two, um, you would be able to snap it, but it wouldn't be centered. And if we, we also can use that center ceiling um, to put a, some stone railings along the very ridge um, to make them a nice finish to the top of this um, apex roof. So we've got the main ridge of the build of the roof here done 
and now it's a bit fiddly getting all of the uh, wooden ramps and wooden sloped ceilings um, to snap correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is snap a ramp to the nearest wall there and we can extend that down that clip so we don't have to place that one yet. Um, let's try moving to the sloped wooden walls and place them along here. So we'll do that one and that one. One more. And on the other side. One, two and three. And we can now extend that ramp down. Should snap. Does it not snap? Okay. If we place it first, then the ceiling should snap through that. As I said, it is a bit fiddly. You just need to keep uh, switching between which order you place them um, and they should snap together no problems at all once again need to remove that one place the ramp first and then clip the uh, slope ceiling into the ramp so place that there and there oh, oh forgot these slope ceilings we'll place them quickly one on the end and this one should snap through it does and then extend it in further under the build because um, that's going to give us a nice finish on the inside of the build later on I'll just place that one first so that we don't get a little hole does that still snap should do from the inside we should do from the inside so we'll leave that um, the wooden ceiling there and our last ramp and you can see by doing this what we do is we get a steeper slope on the roof the sort of main roof and the, um, the two sort of bays have a, a shallower angle um, that's one side done. Let's switch over to the other side. I'm just going to extend this um, this ceiling, this slope ceiling. I think I have to do it from the inside. Let's does it snap? There we go. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this because it will just finish it. Otherwise, um, we're always going to see out. And I don't really want to see out through that gap. So on the other side, I first place the. Um, we'll start. Or should we start by the stone? No, let's start up here. Place um, the base first. The bay roof first here on this side. One there. Extend in and another one there. Then we're going to switch to our ramps. There we go, ramp. And one there, one below. Do we need to put that first? No, no. Ramp first. Ramp first and then ceiling. There we go. Do the same on the other side. Ramp. Oh, we'll do the bottom row first. So extend in underneath first. As I said, you do need to just play around with these um, clipping of roofs. They you have to be from one direction first you have to go from one direction and if it doesn't work the way you want try it the other way around uh, and nine times out of ten it will, it will allow you to place it um, can extend it from that side maybe I'm going to have to remove this first so I should now be able to snap there that uh, there and join them in the middle. 
and now I should be able to snap this one here and the one next to it. There we go. Place that. Now we can extend the ramps down from the, the roof and finish off this bay like so there we go and the last ramp in the middle there uh, oh ramps in the end so that is our finished roof um, it's, it looks really nice i love the change in angle that they're doing the that using the ramps and um the regular slope ceilings gives it's that really nice change in angle and it just makes it a bit more interesting to look at looking from the inside you can see there is a still a gap which i want to get rid of so i'm going to just fill that with another slope to ceiling and on this side as well um, I'm going to leave this gap later. Oh, while I remember, I'm just going to put some stone ce uh, stone ceilings in here. Remember, we want everything close to the pen to be stone. Stop whatever we're taming. So with that done, I'm going to switch over to the far side. Now, as you can see, this is a speed build version, so it is just a re replicating what we've done on the other side. But I'm just going to run through it really quickly. Um, so you can see again we start with the pi uh, stone pillars switch to wood and we're going to do the stone walls around the bottom and on around the pen all my stone walls windows and door frames then I can switch to wood flipped don't forget to flip the wood I put the top floor of wood in two windows first there we go and we need some wooden door frames then we can do the catwalks In. Extend up the pillars over around the porch. Now we can extend the pillars all the way around the build. And we can switch to thatch to place our stone railings and snap the stone railings. Remember, so we place it on the thatch and then flip it. So it stands proud. You see it stand proud of the um, the wooden pillars. It'll sort of stick out from the wooden pillars. You know you've got the right snap point when it's sticking out from the uh, through the stuff of the wooden pillars there. And, oh, missed that one. There we go. Get rid of the thatch. Right, do our staircase up. We're not going to be able to snap, so we'll put a wall, temporary wall. We can we'll remove this wall in a second. There we go. Now we can remove those and it will hold on. Put our first floor wooden floor in. All the way around. And over our porch. Now we can do the top uh, wooden walls. And our stop top stone. Move the stone all the way around the pen. And then finally fill in the stone for our um, taming pen roof. Offset gable ends. Okay. 
repeat that on the other side. Offset. And fill in the walls above the gates. There we go. So now our taming pen is done. Um, just going to put a door frame, I think, in the end here so that we can access the, the taming pen should we need to. Um, now we can carry on with the uh, gable roof. Just a repeat of what we did on the other side of the build. Fiddly fence foundations. They're the easier ones to do. It's the next floor up that's harder on top of these wooden walls. Make sure you get the center. Extend all the way over. Start this clipping process that we looked at last time. We'll remove that one and that one because um, we can have a, a, we need access. We need to be able to access this top stone area um, from the wooden areas on either side. So we'll extend the stone up. Fence foundations, trying to find those either side. But just persevere when you're doing it, and you will find it. There we go. And we can extend them all the way to the stone. And then a wooden wall on the top of each of those fence foundations. We need another pillar first. Is that stone? Central, there we go. All my wooden walls in groups of three. And now we can start the roof. Let's see if we can do it a bit quicker this time. Oh, no, move that one first. Stone, haven't I? Let's put this stone in and I'll just do the same on this side. There we go, now I can replace. Finish off the roof on the inside, and we have both our sides done just to finish off the central stone section we're going to do stone roof so we're going to completely cover the roof with stone ceilings of our central uh, this is going to become the bedroom I think maybe a bit of a sort of a library storage area as well I'm going to leave one ceiling tile um, which I'm going to instead put a hatch frame in so that we can access the roof because we can probably store some flyers up here or something like that. Um, I think I need some windows on each end. So let's put some windows in. I'll have one in the corners too, I think. There we go. Let's put it all the way along the front. 
and repeat that on the back of the build switch to stone solid walls to fill in the gaps Okay, right, we're gonna now have a look at getting stone railings um, around the build just to finish it off. Um, well, first of all, let's get access sorted. So we can remove this wall and this one so that we can get access up. I'm not gonna remove the next one up, so just one wall. Uh, sorry, two walls, but not um, on one row. Move those two, like so. Okay. Now to to actually sort out access. To do that, we're going to do a stone offset ceiling for in the middle there, up there, and another one. Um, that will just centre what we're doing. Then I'm going to put a wooden hatch frame I think or should I do catwalks from the side I think we'll go with hmm, probably best if we do the catwalks I think oh that's a nice view out there wood in there let's see how much we get from our, our dams today oh, 800 there and the other one. 600 that's, that's 1400 wood in the last two hours um, which is very welcome I mean for this build I've primarily used um, the admin console but I just wanted to show you how you could on official uh, or if you don't have access to admin console um, give yourself uh, get yourself loads of wood and as you can see there's no work involved um, just remember don't tame the beaver just uh, trap him we put some use a fence foundation to allow me to place some stone pillars on the corners of the uh, stone section and then repeat that on the other side so fence foundation first on each end stone pillars and this in two then we can have stone railings all the way around the very top of the build and then we'll make a nice landing pad for any flies we, we may tame in the future Try not to um, make sure that you're not snapping to those fence foundations, but in fact to the edge of the, the ceiling there. Oops, misplaced that one. So carry on playing, placing these all the way around, finish it off. Whoops, another misplaced one. Let's pick that back up. There we go. Now we can do our ridge tile. Uh, uh, ridge railing, sorry. So we place these, make sure we centre it. So 
So we want to get right in the middle. There we go. So we're getting on that central um, wooden wall that we placed earlier. On the end, what we'll do is we'll place, first of all, another pillar. Then we're going to use, uh, I think we'll, let's have it pointed up here. So we'll use a uh, wooden uh, sloped walls flipped so that we get the, the nice lighter wood effect on the outer two uh, walls below and in the middle I've put a um, thatch one and then replace the thatch with the railing so you can see it clips nice way nicely through there repeat that process on the other side so once again first the pillar then we put a sloped wall on either on the outer two uh, walls that are underneath um, with a thatch one in between so the thatch in between the right one there you go then wooden wall on the outside replace the thatch with a uh, stone railing and then extend those railings along that top bridge to join up with the railings further in one there and one there so I think really the main building is pretty much done we'll just do the internal access to the stone so I'm going to put some uh, catwalks then a hatch frame and we can do a ladder up to there and those little catwalks take us into those bay area those two bay rooms up at the top let's put a ladder in so that we can get up there uh, find the right point where is it there it is and extend that down and we can repeat that process on the far side we're also going to need access to the roof so I'll drop some ladders down from there. Just check we can get through there okay. There we go, access to the roof. Just need to put some ladders in on this side too. Awesome, so we can now go up one side of the build and down the other. Just to make it look pretty, I mean, it, this is just for aesthetics, I'm just going to put some um, ceilings, some sloped wooden ceilings underneath, just to make it look like they're supporting the um, the, overhanged, the overhanging roof there. On the far side, I'm going to need to uh, put that wall in there so I can get it. this one first. Then I can click the opposite direction. And the last one there, now I can remove this wall. Not really needed, but I think it just adds a little bit. I like the fact that the wood continues um, across the stone there. We'll uh, put some more railings along this balcony and we'll then repeat that on all the other balconies. through to the far side and the final balcony I'll just put some ramps up from the back here so easy access So there we go, the main build is complete, um, 
The last thing I want to do really with this build is um, add a bit of a sort of uh, creature pen on the outside. Um, I'm going to build this out of fence foundations. Um, you could do it out of foundations but it gets a bit fiddly to um, keep changing the height and lowering them and raising them. So I am going to use fence foundations in this case. Flipping them, I will flip and then check that it's pointing in the right direction using a wall. There we go. I'm going to do it four fence foundations out from the main build and then turn the corner. I'm now going to extend all of these fence foundations all the way to the water. Um, oh, another raptor. Go away, you. Ah, the benefit of God mode. You can't hurt me. Good night. Right, carry on. Place on these. Just speed it up a little bit for you all. Now I'm going to extend this out into the water quite a bit because um, I want this sort of uh, compound that we can store tames in to also be able to store uh, some water tames. We're only level 30 so maybe just some of the little dolphin water tames, maybe the odd megalodon if you guys are really good at taming. Uh, I'm not so probably just the dolphins. And I'm just going to repeat the whole fence foundation process all the way around on the other side of the board. Okay, I'll move the rocks and I'm going to extend that all the way down to the water. I've got the same amount on each side. That way, when I turn the corner, I'll be turning in the same place. Now, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to completely close in the water or whether I'm just going to have a, a, an opening there to get the Thames and maybe a raft in or things like that. Um, so I'll place the fence foundations, I might come back later and um, remove them. So for the wall itself, on the corners I want to have sort of like little guard towers. Um, so I'm going to place my stone pillars first, I'm going to leave a gap back there um, for a stone dino gate so that I can get Thames into my compound and keep putting these stone pillars just want these stone pillars just poking at the water you might have a bit of weird things going on with the heights of the pillars here um, they're due to the heights of the fence foundations um, I think it's at this point uh, the it doesn't really matter once they're in the water. Um, then it's not going to be too obvious if they're um, at slightly different heights than what we ideal, ideally want. I think I've gone too high over the stone here. I'm going to move the stone on these. That one too. to um, check that it fits, which it does, but I'm going to pick it up again now and put um, three, uh, sorry, two wooden pillars on either side, and then I can replace my gate. So the wall is going to all, all the way around have one layer of stone to protect 
um, the compound from uh, smaller dinosaurs that can damage wood. And then above that is going to have some uh, wooden railings to make up the rest of the fence. So let's have a go at these corner guard towers. inside here just extend those up for the moment but I am going to need a foundation so to do that I'm going to use the drop method of a thatch with a pillar in it and I'm now snapping this foundation to the pillar but I'm going to lower it so I've lowered it once there and I'm going to I think I'm going to need to lower it twice more, so we'll place one there and then making sure we get that lower snap point, there it is. Place another one, use the snap to find the lower position again and that will give us another lower snap point for a foundation. I can remove all of these. more there we go so I can place that there and remove them now those walls there are gonna be a slight issue so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the sloped thatch on each side they are so wonderful tools for clipping things um, then move to stone on the sat on the foundation. And once I've placed that, I can then replace the thatch underneath. And you can see we can get some vertical uh, clipping going on too. On the inside here. I'm going to uh, first do a pillar, snap a stone underneath it, try and match the other, other pillars, and then some stone ceilings, a door frame, or stone walls, hatch frame on top, so that we can get up into our into our uh, guard post. Going to put some wooden railings around the edge of these. Hmm, okay, this needs a roof, so I'm going to extend the pillars up one more. is done. Now to hold the roof up first of all I need to put a wall in here. I can now place the wooden ceiling and then I can replace the wall with a railing and um, it will stay there. So that's one of my guard towers done. Hmm, I think it just needs a bit of finishing on top. I'll put a, I think we need a, also some ladders to be able to get up here and look around. Right, let's get the ladder. So the ladder placed, just check that I can get up here and that I can stand up at the top. Oh fell off try again right there we go okay I can move around up here nice get back down again now okay that towers complete so the next step is going to be working on the wall 
um, the wall is going to have a stone bottom and um, then move into wood above. So step one would be putting these wooden pillars above. So I'm placing two wooden pillars um, above the stone and then a row of stone walls below. I'm going to snap a stone railing on top of each wall and then I'm going to put a whoop, two wooden railings, oops, two wooden railings on top of the stone one. So that this is how the wall is going to be made all the way around. Um, I think that should be high enough. I know that two walls, um, a large dinosaur shouldn't be able to get over um, two walls high, and that's actually two and a half walls high. So that should be fine. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm not going to talk through doing the whole wall all the way around. Uh, oh, I'll just quickly put a, some railings around the roof of this just to define the roof a little bit better. But I'm not going to um, talk through the rest of the wall. It's very repetitive. It's just going to be doing the same thing um, again and again and again all the way along the wall um, on both sides of the build. So I'll um, stop the commentary here for a bit and um, run through it on, on speed build speed um, and I'll bring you back when I've finished. So with that side done, uh, I can start on the other side of the build. Once again, starting with the stone pillars, then I'm going to work on the tower at the corner. And once I've got the tower in the corner done, I can carry on on the wall all the way down.
Right, just to work on this last um, tower, just to finish it off, and that will be the completed build. Um, please consider checking out the um, uh, tour of the build, the decorated build that I um, have done. You'll find the link in the video description below. Um, in that I've done all of the internal decoration for the build and uh, you can see what the finished build could look like. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far and uh, you'll come back to see more. Thanks again. See you in the next video.